New details tonight in the Christmas morning fire that killed five in Stamford. There are reports tonight that painters may have taken the smoke detectors out of that house. It comes as firefighters in the city are working to make sure a tragedy like this never happens again. News 8's Allie Reed is on the scene in Stamford. WCBS is reporting that prior to the Christmas morning fire, the smoke detectors and fire extinguishers inside Madonna Badger's house had been removed and put inside a garage nearby while painters got inside and painted the interior of the house. We asked Stanford's fire chief about this claim. He says this is the first he's hearing about it. Stanford's fire chief says it's too soon to know. He says the investigation is still very much open and active, but today the focus was on preventing future tragedies. Hopefully when this program is done in its entirety, Stanford will be one of the safest cities to live in in the country. It's the first of many smoke detector giveaways they'll be hosting throughout the city. Somebody put it to me well. They said, well, how do you know that these smoke detectors are going to save a life? I said, we'll never know that. We're going to assume that it will. And therein lies the best possible outcome. It was made clear talking to residents who showed up that the Christmas morning fire got them thinking about their own safety. Oh, absolutely. I think it really brought it to the fore. You know, people really started to realize how important the smoke detectors are. You know, you kind of push it on the back of your mind and not really till something happens. But yeah, it certainly was a wake up call. I have a lot of grandchildren and they come to visit and I want to make sure that they're safe. They sleep over sometimes. WCBS also reporting that the girl's father, Matthew Badger, has hired private investigators to investigate the fire. We asked Stanford's mayor about this. He said he does know that there is a private investigator working the scene, but he says he does not know who hired that investigator. Now, police and fire officials say they won't be commenting on the investigation until it is concluded. We asked Stanford's fire chief when he expects that to happen. He says he's not putting a timestamp on it. He says it could take several weeks or even months until that happens. Reporting on the scene in Stanford, Allie Reed, News 8.